Hey guys, can you feel the snow? <laughs> Having some fun here, uh, creating some winter watercolor tutorials um, that you could use. This could be created for a card or just decor. You could use a reindeer or a polar bear or whatever animal you like. I'm just giving you some ideas. Um, don't forget to check out my Patreon. I have exclusive tutorials there weekly with traceable downloads and I'll be adding more ad-free YouTube tutorials over there. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Also, don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials up. And let's get started. Okay, so I'm um, going to go over supplies. I have a piece of Arches 100% cotton paper cold press. It is a 7x10 sheet. I taped it down with scotch tape on it, just a cheap piece of cardboard. Um, I just drew in a vectored image. You can print out all kinds of vectored images on the internet of a reindeer or deer. And you know, you can have them standing like this, you can have them moving around. I just did a simple like this. I did the, I put in masking fluid um, so we won't paint over him. I'm going to keep him white. And to go over the colors, I use my, my water jars, my paintbrushes, I have my palette here. And I'm going to start with just using a just a cheap um, flat wash brush. I'm going to uh, just wet, I actually drew like little mountains in here. I'm just going to wet the area that I didn't want to get wet. I mean, excuse me, wet the areas I wanted to get wet. <laughs> Um, so I'm just wetting the top, you know, getting it nice and damp. And I'm going to mix in some color to flush in there. And that's why we kept this young guy from getting wet. I mean, getting paint on. So um, just take whatever big brush you have. I'll have this Princeton Neptune number 12. I have some... Uh, Prussian blue here. It's a really nice deep blue. I'm going to add some a little bit of black to that, or I can add some Guanapajo magenta. And we're just going to flush in some color. I don't want it too bright, too dark. I want it to throw in a little more black, get a little grayer. Whatever blue you want. I'm going to get a lot of water on here because I'm going to get pretty light. It's just going to go across this whole area that we already wet. And add a little green to that. Just the area that we painted with the water. It's going to flush in this color. It's not super dark. I want to keep it this sweet blues. This painting is going to be in sweet blues. You could have the darker part kind of up on top if you want to do that. I'm going to grab some of this paint and make it a little bit darker. Maybe down in the bottom a little bit. Not too much though. I'm gonna try and keep it fairly light. So I'm just going across the paper like this. It should dry much lighter than it is. I'm just gonna lift up some of this paint. I didn't want it this dark down here. While this is still damp and wet, if you have, um, I have some of this um, Liquitex acrylic ink, or it's like an alcoholic type base ink, and it usually repels what is ever on the, you know, alcohol and water. It's going to repel it, so I'm shaking it up because it's kind of thick. And I'm going to splatter it. I have a couple of tutorials where I do the same thing. And I'm going to splatter this. I'm going to take the bigger the brush, the wider the splatter. So I'm going to probably use the same brush I just used. Clear it off. Go in and dip in some of this paint. And I'll just take another brush and I'll just tap it 
I don't want too much paint. See how pretty those splatters are? It has this like glowy effect because of the alcohol. I don't want to overdo it too much. And I have the um, link to this particular paint in my description box. The more, so it's damp and it's going to spread out more. When it's less damp, it will spread out less. You know, you see? But the effect is kind of cool. See, it's I want to kind of let it, let it dry a little bit and then come back and put some more on where it's not spreading so much. But the smaller the tap, the smaller the um, spread, the bigger the tap. <laughs> so it's like this wild, pretty snow. That's what I like about it. It's just really sweet. Sweet white snow. And it's, it's bleeding with those spire lines so that it kind of looks like snowflakes. So we're going to let that dry and then we'll go back in and fill it in. Okay, so once that's dried, I went back over again and tapped it in some more and I made smaller ones, little teeny ones. So now I'm just going to flush in some like very light colored blue trees. So how I'm just going to do that, I'm just going to take this blue, take, take, the, take, take the same blue color and just water it down or make a different kind of blue. Make like these trees like this. Just going to fill this in like so. I'm gonna have a like, background right here. So I have some on the ground, I have some up on the top. I'll put another one here. I'm gonna make these really cool kind of like white stem trees. Different shapes, they're like half moons and taller ones. like that and then you can do the first layer and then let it dry and overlap and do another layer and I'll show you what I mean by that so I have my first trees down my first layer just like so that's why we have to masking fluid the reindeer so he can paint everything around him without getting him all disturbed. And then the top one over here. See just this light color blue kind of blobs that will be trees. So I'm going to let that dry and we're going to come back and paint another layer. All right so that's dry. We're going to go back over that again. Maybe even a little bit darker. Do that. Another layer. Just like so. Put a small one here. And the one over here. And then one in between those two, a small one, maybe a touch darker. See already that's looking kind of cool, right? And then we can put another small one in here. Okay, from here, um, we can paint some of 
the this foreground area because you know obviously if you want to keep him white you're gonna to have to paint that a color so again we're gonna get blue fairly light and make it a slight different color blue and add a little quinacridone magenta just to change it up a bit I'm going to make it too purple. I'll water that down. So I'm getting this area really light. Just a pill. I'm going to add a lot more water to water this down. <laughs> I didn't hit this part yet because I didn't want to bleed. So just fill this in. The nice pale blue color. This whole thing is going to be blue and white. that in while that's drying we have to wait to all these trees dry we're gonna put in this color here to be on the pale color or you can leave it white if you wanted to but I'm gonna fill it with color now I'm going to go in and add a slightly darker tone to this mound here in the front. Again here. You could have made this whole section one color if you wanted to do that. But I am changing it up. Just fill it all in. You know, make your mountains a little different, different shape. However, you want to do it. It doesn't seem to be standing out from the front one. You can go back in, color in another layer, make it a little darker. And again, a little bit darker. Not too much though. I feel like that's getting a little too dark. I want it slightly darker. All right. So while that's drying, we don't have to worry about that. You can take some white wash or you could take that um, acrylic ink that you had or white um, you could take white acrylic paint so I have some white gouache here I'm just gonna put down over here on my palette and the messy part of the palette which is over here I'll just flip it around so you guys can see it <laughs> okay so you need a brush that has a nice skinny tip and you want the paint to be a little loose, not super loose. And we're gonna make some nice, fun white trees. So we're gonna go up like this. And like this. And then we're gonna make the little branches off the trees. like that. You can zoom in a little bit so you can see. So again, take the white gouache, make the tree, you can have it like bending. 
going like this and it like this and then you take the branches and you kind of form it to the shape of that blue circle that we made. Now, if you don't have white gouache, you could probably use a gel pen. The less water you use in the gouache, the more it's going to show up. Some of that was kind of bleeding and not showing up as dark. as nice and white as I wanted it to, so I just went back over it. So you're going to do that with all the trees. You see that? All the trees going to be white. Just like I showed you in the first two. I'm going to go in and fill in all those little mounds um, with the gouache. Or if you have gel pen or if you have acrylic ink. If you have a gel pen. It's, I think I said that already. <laughs> Probably me a little faster. So I'm going to fill in all those trees and then I'm going to come back. Okay, so I did all my trees. At this point, um, go back with your blue paint and you can add in some darker patterns in your snow areas like here. You could put in some dots and stripes, um, snowflakes, little teeny snowflakes. I'm gonna do that. Putting some pattern in there. Just making these little crisscrosses. You don't have to do that. You could have done some stripes. See, I'm going like this stripe going across up here. Just changing it up a little bit different. Right, and the bottom one, if you want to give like a little shadow of the reindeer, you don't have to do that. I'm just doing that because I felt like it, or I might just wash it out. I don't know. Play around with it. But it's going to be more like a decorative piece than a realistic piece. So you can do the shadow, not do the shadow, whatever you'd like to do. I'm gonna put a little shadow mound in here. And then I'm gonna have to dry it, come back, and then we're gonna take the rubber cement pickup and we're gonna lift up the white masking fluid from the reindeer. Just filling that in like that. And see what we got. Okay, now is the time. Voila, I have this rubber cement pickup. All, all the supplies are in the description box below. I have links to this. It's like $4 on Amazon. And I'll lift up the masking fluid and reveal our super reindeer. Now you could have made this smaller or bigger reindeer if you wanted to. Put a, put a couple of reindeers in there. Could have did a polar bear. <laughs> this is loud and noisy. Sorry, guys. Does a great job, though. And then you just take up the little mess there. Look how cool that is. Right? It's kind of unique and different. And then um, if you wanted to do some little touches with um, ticking your gouache, you can add a little more antlers have them like poking it a little more here. Let's grab the gouache. And then of course down below you could add more snow um, and whatever you want. So I could add little dots, snow, I can splatter again because now that it's white you can splatter more. And you could splatter with gouache if you didn't want to do the alcohol. Um, you know, and you can just take your gouache, get that really loose, 
and just go ahead and splatter all around the snowy field since now he's white you want to put a pattern in him it's just something different um, kind of fun you could have made it into a card if it was like that you know be kind of cool oh you could just put a little eye just a little blue eye right there just really simple and we'll reveal our little masterpiece so this is just a fun tutorial different unique not a typical kind of stuff patterns playing with patterns and just monotone color i mean it's really winter watercolor Look at that i think it's pretty so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial uh don't forget to hit the bell notification button to know my tutorials are up also check out my patreon i have exclusive tutorials and traceables there weekly that you will not find on youtube and i do put a lot of ad free i'm gonna keep adding more ad free um youtube tutorials over there too so um people who join my patreon have ad free tutorials that are on my youtube yes so thank you guys so much uh have a great day and i'll speak to you soon